In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how the EC entry works. So I've been wanting this feature for a long time, actually. And you know, other cars have similar features. So for instance, in the BMW I had before, the E61, uh, once you set the car in park and was about to go out, uh, the steering wheel went up like this for a little bit. Yeah, so that's like a, a built-in feature in the car. And also in the Ionic, uh, same thing, you know, when you're about to exit, the seat goes back a little bit like this automatically. So uh, that's a very nice, con like, convenient feature. But, you know, um, uh, this, the Tesla takes it one step further because uh, it can be risky to adjust the seat if you have, let's say, a child seat or if the car is filled to the... I don't know, if you have something there, you know, you could squish stuff there. And that's one problem. Also, the steering wheel. Well, the steering wheel always works, you know, to go up and down. So that's always nice. But uh, at least with, um, with Tesla, you create a separate profile and then you adjust whatever you have to do. Uh, and then when you exit or enter, you know, it's supposed to be easier for you. So let's demonstrate how it works and how you set it up. So if you go to controls here and uh, uh, settings here, you see that uh, if I take this one, my main profile, uh, I cannot check the easy entry uh, because as I mentioned, you know, it will create a new profile. So, I guess I have to delete one of these uh, because in uh, oh hang on. yeah so uh, I can go here uh, driver profile settings so uh, in the Tesla you can have up to ten profiles for some reason I don't know why you can have more um, let me see well office space I kind of use a drive by shooting is a must for me uh, sleeping while well, I sleep all the time autopilot yeah I mean autopilot and sleeping could be in one profile you no know, I kind of sleep while I'm autopilot. Video, uh, gay sauna, well it's still winter so I kind of need to, you know, lighten up my day. Uh, uh, I guess I could delete XXX then, yeah, let's, let's do that, okay, delete, alright, I, I might just make it afterwards. But now, if you go here, you see, you can have this use easy entry, alright, and then this one will create a special easy entry profile, uh, and then you you're supposed to adjust your seats and whatever. Uh, so now, for instance, I want the steering wheel to go up a little bit, like this. Uh, let's say all the way up. All right, and then I want uh, the, the seat to go all the way to the back, for instance. Yeah, that's that's good enough now. It's plenty of space now, all right? And then I go here and I save it. Okay, so now it is saved, and if you check here, it says that, okay, use easy entry. And you see, when you, we have these uh, uh, regular uh, profiles, you know, they, they have these options, but the easy entry is a kind of special, you know. You cannot link the keyboard with it, but you can delete it. So uh, I can show you afterwards why it makes sense to delete it. And now for every, um, like for every other profile you can use the easy entry one so there's only one easy entry like setting you can't have like multiple easy entries so that's a little bit downside but it will make way it will make the system way too complex if you have several easy entries huh? but let's see how it works now and now we are, we are parked let's go out of the car and it's still in that easy entry setting And when we come back in here, it's still there until we press the brakes. Why well, buckle up? Doesn't matter, but we should do it anyway. But uh, when you press the brakes and want to drive, it automatically goes back to the Bjorn uh, or whatever setting you had before. And as you see, it's kind of cumbersome to adjust it too much because let's say now if <laughs> I want to unbuckle, it will do all these crazy adjustments. So. I would suggest to not adjust it too far. Let's try to set a new one. So this is where it makes sense to delete the easy entry uh, profile. So if we go here, uh, because I don't remember what I had there. So I want to base, I want to make a new one based on the Bjorn profile. So you can just go here, delete it, yes. And then, well now it's kind of like bugged, but then you choose the Bjorn profile again. 
and stuff will just adjust back to where it's supposed to be okay then go to driver profile setting and then you create a new EC entry and this time you don't adjust too far so I think what works best for me is to take the steering wheel slightly up like this that's probably enough I'm not that fat I have a fat butt of course and then take the the seat slightly back I think that's enough yeah like that but of course if you have a uh, Model S with next-gen seats they have really like fat side bolsters so maybe you want to adjust it more than that but I guess this is enough okay let's save it well let's test it out now okay it feels easier to enter and exit the car and then we press the brakes okay there you go it took like a second to adjust and that's usually enough for me and hopefully this will reduce the wear and tear I have on this this side of the seat because I rub into the seat all the time but you see there is some limitation with this system is that uh, because it uses one one like one profile for the easy entry now I'm in a, in this profile that pushes the seat all the way to the back so it kind of simulates uh, a big tall guy you know and then when I use the the easy entry this time uh, put the car to park then the seat goes forward because you know it's based on the, the small Asian dude not the tall Viking dude so <laughs> you have to know this limitation and you probably have to adjust the easy entry to to fit all of your profiles if you have several people using the car all right so that's it east entry it's gonna be nice yeah i think it's a nice feature even though it has some limitations i will probably enjoy it a lot yeah so that's it for now then bye bye